Dr. Lara here. I hope you're doing well today. So on my walk, I always ask what's in the highest and best good for people to hear. And so I asked that today and then it was quiet. And then all of a sudden this song came into mind, um, a very annoying song. <laughs> and it was, I wish from somewhere in the woods or some movie like that. And I'm like, oh, oh, I don't like that song. So I like kind of pushed it out of my head. And then another song came into my mind, When You Wish Upon a Star. I'm like, okay, I'm listening. So I dove a little bit deeper into I Wish. Okay, so, you know, when we're younger and we have birthdays and we blow out a candle and we make a wish. So when we're younger, we're trained to think, well, if I wish something, it's going to come through right? Or it's going to come true. And our parents do our best to figure out what our wish is, and then they try and make it come true. But what's happened is that we have developed this in our psyche. I wish, I wish things would be different. I wish I could go here. I wish he or she would do this or do that. Okay, but what happens when we come from this place of wishing something would be different, it keeps us in a victim role. Because when we place things outside of ourselves, expecting them to change, we become the victim of circumstance. And then it goes deeper. Like when we wish something to be different, that's basically saying, I'm not willing to do anything to make it change. And I, I read that last week and I was like, oh, that is, that like hit me hard. Okay. So when, just think about it. Let's say you're sitting on the couch and you're like, man, I really wish I had more money so I could go travel. You have that, that thought, that wish, and then you turn Netflix on and then you binge watch Netflix. And then the next day you say, gosh, I wish I could have more money to go travel. And you do it over and over and over again. And then you get frustrated because nothing's changing. Why isn't anything changing? Why isn't my wish coming true? Because it doesn't work that way. Okay. So instead of wishing for something to come true, intend for something to come true. And the difference is that when you wish for something to come true, you just put it out there and you just like think it's going to automatically happen without any work on your part. But when you intend for something to happen, that's when you start to take ownership of your life, ownership of your actions. So when you intend to have a better relationship, when you intend to go travel, you find out ways that you can better yourself to be in a relationship so it's healthier or to make more money so you can go travel. So it's, it's about shifting that focus from I wish being a victim to I'm intending to be empowered. So I hope that helps. That was, uh, that hit me hard. <laughs> and sometimes these are like very subtle and sometimes they come out with a bang. So I hope that you enjoyed that, um, that little message today. And if you haven't already, check out our website. It's um, drlararomero.com. Mark and I have a wonderful community that helps people move forward in their life to help open up their spirituality, that helps pe that we help people work through their emotional turmoil. So you can really start living a life of purpose, a life of joy, a life of abundance and happiness. So I hope that this message helped and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for listening.